Measured variables provide instant feedback on design changes. In this example, I'm designing an enclosure for a Raspberry Pi, but I don't have the Raspberry Pi CAD data. This spec PDF, which I uploaded to Onshape, shows the height is 18.8 millimeters. It's important that I have clearance between the Raspberry Pi and the enclosure. Now that I know the height of the Raspberry Pi, I'll take a measurement between the two components of the enclosure and capture that measurement as a measured variable. A name is required for a variable, so I'll give this one a useful name that I'll recognize later. There's also a description field at the bottom of this dialog where I can indicate a design rule in this case to keep the dimension greater than 19 millimeters, which will give me a little bit of clearance around the Raspberry Pi. And now that that measurement is captured, it's readily viewable in the variable table. It's not buried in a feature dialog or in a sketch. I also want to monitor the distance between the center of the hole in the mounting bracket and the top of the unit. So I'll create a measured variable to capture that as well. Giving it a useful name like last time, I'm also going to indicate that I want to use the center axis of the hole. And then again in the description, stating what the design rule is here, less than 50 millimeters. This, you can see the variable panel filling out on the right as I complete this dialog box. And now I can monitor both of these dimensions as I make changes to the design.